got the. She's going, what? Good morning! It's too early! Good morning, neighborhood community! <laughs> Wanna say good morning? Good morning! Good morning! Okay. That was good morning. <laughs> <laughs> So I finished my time lapse last night. Hopefully Kevin will have some time to work on it today and maybe put it up tonight. Mm -hmm. Turned out pretty good and it ended up being one of her top posts. Yay! So, yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Cool. Yep, yep. Kirstie's coming over today. Oh yeah, we're watching uh, more horror films. She's bringing some stuff. Yeah, she bought some movies and she's bringing them with her. And I have a feeling she wants to barbecue because she was asking me about propane. Mm -hmm. And if we have propane. Oh, you're supposed to check so I can let her know. Um, and if we have propane for our barbecue. So I have a feeling she wants to barbecue. Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling she's going to want you to cook. Well, doesn't it always work out that way? <laughs> That's okay. We have some burgers. We can no, do that. she we don't went have shopping funds. last night. Oh, okay. So we'll have... We'll actually get to eat today. <laughs> yeah. We'll Yay. Get some food. I don't know if she bought food, if she's bringing food. I don't know. All <laughs> I know is she asked me if we had propane, and then she told me she was at Walmart shopping, and I asked for what, and she didn't respond. So <laughs> well, I'm assuming she's... Well, hopefully I won't set the uh, grill on fire like I... <laughs> I do when there's when we have cooks. Josh, a professional Josh, chef professional here. Chefs, uh, jo uh, did I, they set it on fire when John was here. Yes, okay. John. When John was here and when Josh was here, both times you set the grill on fire. <laughs> I, you know, got to be at your best when they're here. You know, <laughs> so um, right now I'm watching Forty Eight Hours with Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Is it Eddie Murphy? Yeah, it's yeah. Eddie Murphy. So, I'm watching that, and uh, Angel is licking my pajamas. It must be something to eat. It must have spilled something on me. Mm-hmm. Well, today, um, I'm going to finish that floor. I am. You better get started, because when Kirsty gets here, it's time to sit down. So, and then that will be one less thing you guys have to watch me continue doing. <laughs> over and over and over again. <laughs> hey, who am I to talk? They get to listen to me complain about being sick over and over and over again and listen about me coloring every day. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> but I am almost done with my book. <laughs> so, not this weekend, but the following weekend we are going to... Um, um, Midsummer Scream, and I know there was a uh, somebody was um, actually asking if we were going to be there because they were going to be there. So, yep. if anybody wants to go, that's where we'll be. It's at the we'll end of tweet while we're there. So people... end of July, yeah, we'll make a we'll make a deal of it. Yeah. So because this is this is a a fun thing that we haven't we haven't done anything fun in such a long time. And I, I'm sure people are getting frustrated with us. I know we're losing uh, subscribers. Because um, we're so boring. Yeah, we've become pretty dull. <clears throat> and uh, so we're going to try and pep it up. And uh, Val's saving going... saving up our money now. Yeah, Val's going whether she's sick or not. I am strapping her to the wheelchair if I have to. And then bungee cording her to the back of the truck. <laughs> and she will be there. Yeah. Kirsty will probably be with us as yep. well. So, there you go. Yep, we're gonna make a. We're saving our pennies now so that we can make a day of it. And yep. Yay! Will you please stop licking me? <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so my final cuts are going to be rip cuts. So I have an entire row at the very end here that's going to be a rip. Uh, I want to test. I want to make sure it's the same from one end to the other. It's kind of interesting t to look at right now. It looks like it's about three inches on each end, but it looks like it gets wider in the middle. But that could be just with the plastic set up. I'll, I'll cut that down and then I will uh, rip one piece, a small piece, and I will dry fit it all the way across. Three and three eighths there. So I'm starting to uh, lay out the wood the way I want it to be put down, and I'm already seeing some things that I'm going to end up cutting this first one. Because I want it to end right underneath this door jam, right here. It's because the door is set back a little more and I want to have uh, more covered next to the door. So I want the what's in front of the door run to be all as, as exact as possible to the other door jam. So I don't have any gaps. It's it looks comfortable at three and uh, three eighths all the way across. So, but I'm going to do it one more at a time, just to be sure. It's done. Floor is done. The floor is a mess still, it's still dirty, and I'm not going to clean that up until tomorrow because this took me about seven hours to put this all together. I didn't film the last row because I had to cut each and every board separately just to make sure that it was going to fit up against the wall. It was my biggest concern as usual once you start from one end of a room to the other is uh, the room going to be crooked and going to end up um, off center for, and once you get to the other side and it, it's pretty centered I'm pretty happy so now, somebody actually asked, well, why did I start in that corner? And uh, there's a specific reason for it that uh, it's a sort of like a selling idea. The front door is here. If you come in the front door, the first thing you're going to see is the floor at the other end of the room. And that farthest corner, which you can't see behind all this furniture, will be what they see. And this line all the way across here but they are less likely to come in the front door and turn around and take a look at the floor at the front door. So I felt that the back wall was the most important place to start. So I had no major troubles with this floor. It was well engineered. It glued together quite easily. Um, even the last row just had to, to cut it down and went down beautifully. Um, I only have one spot which I think I I messed up on and it's a little too far away from the wall at this spot. I'll have to see what it looks like when I put the baseboard down. But uh, very happy with the results and uh, this room's going to look good when I finally get it all done. <laughs> Kirstie's here. We watched some movies. Didn't watch the ones we were originally planning on because Kirstie's package didn't arrive. Nope, it didn't oh, arrive. What? But where's that book? Oh, she uh, did get a book that I really, really want to get. A coloring book that I really, really want to get. She got two of them, but this one is my next one I want, guys. Grimm's Dirty Fairy Tales. Is it? It doesn't seem dirty, <laughs> but the the pictures are very pinuppy, sexy. Yes, dear. Pictures, and then this is the new the next artist, Elena. Uh, it's on the back. Elena. <laughs> uh, Jeez. On the top, Lazar. 
Rhea. All right. Something like that. Well, okay. <laughs> so, but, um, coloring books. Sorry. Yeah, coloring books. <laughs> Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. We got my floor done. Yay! It looks beautiful. Thank you, honey. Um, Kirsty was the first one to see it done. <laughs> it looks great. So we're going to go ahead and say good night now. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen on the video today. If you did, please give us a favorite. Share our video with your family and friends. Leave us a comment. But most of all, please subscribe. We'll see you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye. Not today. Go